so I made a video about aspartame and diet soda, and it was about 27, 35 minutes long, depending on which format I use, and uh, YouTube wasn't letting me upload it. And I had to go pick up my sister from the airport, and when I was driving there, I realized, you know, you probably don't want to watch a 27 to 35 minute video on me talking about aspartame metabolism, so I'm going to break it up into smaller videos, and you can watch the ones that you want, which will go a lot faster. So, first video is going to be on aspartame and what happens to aspartame uh, inside your body. So, this is aspartame. We already saw this molecule. Uh, aspartate, amino acid 1, phenylalanine, uh, amino acid number 2, and then methanol, which uh, comes off first. So methanol is broken off in your body first via acid hydrolysis. So the hydrogen in acid hydrolysis, a positively charged hydrogen, is taken up by this oxygen. And this, this group right here will leave with that hydrogen, and it turns into methanol. <clears throat> now, this methanol group is what causes the, um, or not what causes, what releases the toxic compounds. Uh, the toxic compounds that are uh, released or created by methanol uh, is found by this pathway. <clears throat> so methanol comes off of aspartame in your body. Uh, alcohol dehydrogenase breaks it down or helps catalyze its formation into formaldehyde. Formaldehyde uh, is catalyzed by this enzyme right here into formic acid. Now formic acid uh, is what causes most of the problems. Formaldehyde is also a neurotoxin, but uh, form formic acid is what causes also a lot of um, problems in your body if it's in a high enough concentration. As you can see right here, there's a lot of uh, problems that um, can happen if you have too much formic acid inside of you. But what happens is your body has ways to break down methanol, has ways to break down formaldehyde, has ways to break down formic acid. It turns formic acid into CO2 and H2O. So before formic acid can actually hurt you, it's turned into carbon dioxide and water. Now, you're thinking, I probably never want to ingest methanol in my entire life because it turns into formaldehyde and formic acid, which are both neurotoxins. So if you ingest methanol, you're ingesting neurotoxins because methanol will be converted, you know, into down this pathway. But the thing to remember here is concentration, and I'll talk about concentration in the next video and the difference between a toxin and a, a toxic effect. Uh, so you can rest easy still about drinking diet soda and orange juice. Orange juice has, I think it probably releases seven times the amount of methanol than diet soda does, orange juice does, so uh, keep that in mind as well.